The shocking truth behind the rise of lung cancer in these countries. 1. Smoking, the most significant cause of lung cancer, accounting for around 85% of cases. The chemicals in tobacco smoke can damage the DNA in lung cells, leading to mutations and abnormal cell growth that can eventually develop into lung cancer. In addition to lung cancer, smoking is also a major risk factor for a number of other cancers and serious health conditions, such as heart disease, stroke, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. Quitting smoking can greatly reduce the risk of developing these health problems. 2. Air Pollution Long-term exposure to air pollution, such as traffic fumes and industrial emissions. Air pollution contains a mixture of harmful pollutants, including particles and gases, that can damage the lungs and other organs over time. Some studies have shown that people who live in areas with high levels of air pollution have a higher risk of developing lung cancer and other respiratory illnesses. To reduce the risk of harm from air pollution, it's recommended to limit exposure by staying indoors on high pollution days, using air filters, and advocating for cleaner air policies. 3. Family History People with a family history of lung cancer are at a higher risk. People with a close relative, such as a parent or sibling, who has been diagnosed with lung cancer are at a higher risk of developing the disease themselves. This increased risk may be due to a combination of genetic and environmental factors, such as shared exposure to risk factors like smoking or air pollution. It's important for individuals with a family history of lung cancer to discuss their risk with their healthcare provider and take steps to reduce smoking, such as quitting smoking and avoiding exposure to air pollution. 4. Previous lung diseases, people who have had lung diseases such as tuberculosis or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, are at a higher risk. Previous lung diseases, such as tuberculosis or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, can increase the risk of lung cancer. Additionally, people with COPD may have a history of smoking, which is another significant risk factor for lung cancer. It's important for individuals with a history of lung disease to talk to their doctor about their risk of lung cancer and take steps to reduce smoking. 5. The risk of lung cancer increases with age, with most cases being diagnosed in people over the age of 60. The risk of lung cancer increases with age due to a combination of factors, such as cumulative exposure to risk factors like smoking and air pollution, and natural changes in the body over time. As people get older, their cells may become more susceptible to mutations that can lead to cancer. It's important for people of all ages to be aware of the risk factors for lung cancer and to take steps to reduce their risk, such as quitting smoking and avoiding exposure to air pollution. Regular screenings for lung cancer, such as low-dose CT scans, may also be recommended for individuals at high risk. 6. Exposure to radon a naturally occurring radioactive gas that can seep into homes and buildings. Radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that is produced from the decay of uranium in soil and rock. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking, and is estimated to cause thousands of deaths each year in the United States alone. 7. Socioeconomic Status People of lower socioeconomic status are more likely to be exposed to risk factors for lung cancer, such as indoor air pollution from cooking and heating fuels, and may have less access to health care and screening services. In this video, we are talking about the dangers of air pollution and how it can contribute to lung cancer. To help protect yourself and your loved ones from the harmful effects of air pollution, I highly recommend purchasing an air filter. By clicking the link in the description box below, you'll be able to find some of the best air filters available on the market. Investing in an air filter can make a big, difference in improving the air quality in your home and reducing your risk of lung cancer. So be sure to click the link in the description box now, and take a step towards protecting your health. Please subscribe and like the video, thank you.